Hi, welcome to our channel True Up. Have you ever imagined yourself as a corporate leader, a technical specialist, or a spaceman? Or have you given up on such a desire as you got older? Everyone dreams, and this is always a positive thing. However, owing to reality, some people choose to raise theirs, while others choose to maintain theirs. In today's video, we'll learn how one individual managed to stick with his idea and put in significant work to make it a reality. And, more importantly, how his effort benefits the whole industry. What about the latest breakthrough from a Chinese chip expert? Look, it's simply such a thin strip with 4,000 pins enclosed in it, said Dr. Zhang Jinfan, chairman of Chip One Technologies, a newly created unicorn firm that provides a comprehensive display chip, power management, and other solutions. It's a small chip, only 1 mm broad and less than 2 cm long, and unless properly pointed out, few people will notice its presence. This modest tiny component, however, is critical in the presentation of the full mobile phone screen. So, how did this chip come into being? In today's fast-paced culture, even regular people are becoming more conscious of the importance of such sensitive technologies to the economy. Despite its small size, we are all confident in the influence it can have on the whole business. Since Trump's presidency, a series of penalties have been put on firms such as Huawei, and its business has been impacted in some way. Fortunately, owing to people like Chairman Zhang Jinfang, things are progressively improving. It all starts with his dream. What does this Chinese expert think? For a long time, a Peking University doctor has wished to contribute to Chinese chips. He is well aware that essential technologies cannot be purchased. It is critical to make significant breakthroughs in key technologies, it is also critical to continually overcome the stuck-neck problem of the display chip sector, and it is imperative to break the monopoly of foreign rivals and realize major technology localization," said Zhang Jinfang. In the light of China's current position, having such a person with such goals is quite fortunate. Chinese people recognized the critical role of independent technology decades ago. Despite the fact that China has become the world's largest producer and exporter of LCD panels, mainland China still lacks display chip technology, with the majority of it coming from Taiwan, China, South Korea, the United States, and other nations. China has long relied on imports, particularly in the sector of high-end display chips. We must agree that it is a challenging and arduous path of autonomous creativity. Despite the fact that it is usually easier stated than done, Dr. Zhang never hesitates to act. Zhang Jinfang has traveled an unusual life journey in the 13 years since he founded his company. However, problems usually come before results. The display chip business has no future. Making money is quite difficult. To compete, we invested much in research and development in recent years, and our products were priced lower than those of our international competitors. It was virtually unprofitable in the end. The external environment was not hopeful about the entrepreneurial orientation of chips at the time, especially because the investment cycle of integrated circuits was quite protracted, and many individuals withdrew their investments one after the other. Dr. Zhang, on the other hand, did not quit up despite the possibility of suffering. Instead, he opted to fearlessly embrace his ambition, despite the hurdles that arose. At the moment, Dr. Zhang decided to create his own firm in order to contribute genuine Chinese chips to the world. Everyone understands how difficult it is for an organization started by college students to change the entire scenario. There had been some reservations regarding his decision. Fortunately, Zhang Jinfang is tenacious and determined not to give up until the goal is attained. As a result of his dedication, he recently conquered the touchscreen chip design on his route to communication engineering. First, he discovered the source of the problem, the screen itself has a lot of noise interference. To overcome the challenge, we must figure out how to recognize the finger signal on the screen and filter out the interference signal. Dr. Zhang stated. He later adapted the communication engineering idea and applied it to the touchscreen. What will this technology mean for China? There is no question that enormous accomplishments have been made. They have applied for almost 70 patents for this technique alone. However, difficulties persisted. However, as a result of their struggles, Dr. Zhang and his colleagues gradually discovered the benefits of their invention. Following the introduction of the chips, there was a frenzy of competition suppression. Their opponents devised nasty plots to crush them, power chips are free as long as people buy our display chips. As a result, they chose to keep using technology in response to their competitors. 
After extensive study, Zhang Jinfang's team developed semiconductors that cost only one-third the price of competitors, yet perform better. Opponents do not accept it and say that Chip1 technology must be subsidized in order to be sold so inexpensively. It wasn't until Chip1 technology captured more than half of the market that they began to confront this upstart competitor, we pulled apart our chip and researched it, and concluded that our chip is extremely good. Zhang Jinfang laughed. Dr. Zhang has been awarded the 25th Excellent Young Medal for his dedication to his Chinese chip goal. In addition, the achievements of the firm and the industry have been witnessed. The fingerprint identification chip market has grown steadily in recent years and is expected to do so again over the forecast period of 2021 to 2026. These insights assist corporate decision makers in developing better business planning and making educated decisions to increase profitability. Furthermore, the analysis assists venture or rising companies in understanding the firms and making educated selections. Dr. Zhang's business, Chip1 Technology, is one of the market's main and developing participants. Furthermore, the firm stated in December last year that it had completed its round E of fundraising, which totaled more than 6.5 billion yuan, $1.02 billion, and increased the company's valuation to more than 30 billion yuan, $4.7 billion. According to Zhang Jinfang, this round of financing will be utilized to increase the firm's ongoing investment in technology R&D and talent recruiting, as well as to assist the company in establishing long-term and sustainable capacity collaboration with core suppliers. Today we live in a wild world where obstacles continue to come and some authority wants to keep us from dreaming. I suppose Dr. Zhang Jingfeng's tale is a fantastic example of how to struggle for a better life. He reminds us of the sobering truth that in today's ever-changing world, whomever masters the latest technology, from a little person to a firm, an industry, or a country, will open up a channel for quick development. And this is precisely why he has and continues to pursue his ambition. To summarize, I am not advocating that everyone adopt his way of life since everyone is unique. His story paints a picture of struggle and long-term isolation. All of these are too difficult for regular folks. And, of course, there is the initial capital that he owns, to which most people will not have access. However, it is true that we should not try to imitate him in our own lives, since capitalists will not abandon their heinous aim of taking all we own. His diligence is still quite valuable. In any case, the existence of such people with dreams who are taking measures toward their realization is even more important to the society of all people. Such enterprises always stick to the basis of technological research and development, breaking through technical obstacles of integrated circuits, driving the upgrading and growth of the national industrial chain, and thereby benefiting the entire globe with the technology they supply. Thanks for watching our video. We would appreciate it if you subscribed our channel and gave us a thumb. See you.